Hey Nuggets, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a wig from a real picture and this is the simplest way you can do it. I tried my best to make sure that this is not difficult to do on your own. This won't be difficult as long as you choose a picture that is not too hard for you. Like I chose this one while I was smudging it out it was pretty easy to do not too complicated it's a simple hairstyle and if you had like something else that is more wavy curly then you're gonna struggle because you gotta smudge out all those little curly details in the hair but yeah let me get right into the tutorial when you put in your picture in it's gonna kind of look a little bit small if you have an ipad but i don't know if it's like that or not. i don't think so it's been a while since i used procreate pocket so yeah you just want to make it bigger a little bit what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be using the selection tool and i am going to go all the way around this image really carefully Make sure you're taking your time. Oh yeah, and the brushes that you would need. Actually, you don't, you kind of don't need brushes for this because it's straight hair. All you're going to be doing is smudging it most of the time. But the brushes I use is the same one I use in every video when I do hair on Procreate. Literally the same thing. The brush I'm going to be using on this hair is called Hair Shade in the hair set. I'm going to be linking it down in the description. It's free to download. I'm going to be going over the edges because you're going to be smudging out the hairline to match with your avatar. If you're selling this, yeah, you're going to really need to make sure you get this right so it doesn't look weird on other people that wears this. But I really suggest you practice this a good few times before you go try to sell the wigs because people will know it's pre-made and not in a good way. So you need to take it. So when you're done, you're going to see all these little grey lines and you might need to invert. But for me, I don't need to because I already did. When you see the grey lines around the, the background, that's what is going to be taken off. So you're just going to go copy and paste and the hair is right there you're gonna delete this one then you're gonna unselect everything else and you're gonna start moving this hair to fit your avatar so once it's on like this the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna use the liquefying tool and this is where it gets hard if you're trying to follow this using ibis paint you're going to make this fit your avi's head i mean i need to charge my pencil fully my pencil survives so you're just gonna make it fit your avi as much as possible then you're gonna do the next side and then you're just gonna bring the hairline forward trust me this is gonna look great i did post how to do this i mean i did show you how i did it without recording it on my IG story if you follow me on Instagram everyone pretty liked it even though I was pretty nervous about it like because it just looked weird to me I'm not I'm not used to doing this but since it looks good to everyone I might as well so yeah it should look like this and the next thing I did with this wig is I'm gonna erase some sides And now this is the fun part. I don't have a specific size, but whatever size works is what I'm doing here. So now I'm just going to be bringing this out and I'm using the, the um, smudging tool to make hair strands at the bottom of the hair, trying to make it look exactly the how it did in the picture. So just go in and out with the brush, in and out. Thank you. 
We're going to do the same on the other side. And obviously we're going to improve the way the ends look with the hair brushes. So now you're going to make the brush size smaller and I'm just going to still erase a little bit off. And then use liquify, bring it forward again. Then we're going to smudge it out. So use your Avi skin to um, really blend it in. So in my version, after I did this, like when I was literally finished with the whole hair, I added edges, but they were from a hair pack that I bought off Gumroad. I'm gonna at who the person was, some of you would know her. Um, you do have to pay for it. I can't recommend any free ones because I don't know a free one that's good right now, but I'm pretty sure if you maybe just do a little bit of research, you might find some good ones. So that looks pretty good with no edges at the moment. Um, if you really take your time, you could just leave it like this on your avi if you like it my avi's heads look a little bit big so i'm just gonna still bring this forward and yeah now that looks better right so now we're just gonna keep smudging like this is really easy i'm going to post this picture on youtube so you should see this in like the community well you just see it on youtube to be honest but yeah i'm gonna post it on here have it and practice and follow along like i'm telling you this is so easy so you just want to go back and forth back and forth with the smudging brush the brush i'm using i probably should have said it is a round brush i modified the original one that is default on procreate because it didn't work for me when i'm painting and stuff so i modified it so basically yeah i just like made the round brush again basically all i did was i duplicated it and then the next thing i did was if you tap it you go here and okay you go on properties and you change it with the maximum opacity that it comes with i put mine like maxed out and that's how i like it and then when i duplicated it this is how the settings look when you go on property. I put it down to like 95%, just a little bit. And then the other one, I put it all the way down. It used to be the hard airbrush, like I told people, but I had to change it because when Procreate updated itself, the, smud the airbrush kind of was different. So I had to just come up with a new option because it wasn't working for me. So that's my reason for changing the smudging brush i use so yeah you just want to keep smudging it out just making it blend properly and stuff i'm at this point i'm probably going to speed up the video after i've done this part of the hair so you can see a difference to the other side So make sure when you're smudging you're not losing um, detail and the, the style of how the hair looks because that can happen. Like how you see this bit curves like this and if you smudge like that, I, I don't know, like if you smudge this way, you can, it still kind of looks alright but you just want to keep everything neat and how it's supposed to look the way you see it without changing too much while you're smudging so just take your time 
doing this i know a lot of people don't like to smudge but it's literally so necessary when it comes to d digital art oh so this is what it looks like this is one side and this is the smudge side like look at that it looks clean it looks cute and it's gonna look even better when we add strands to the hair at the bottom more defined looking ones so yeah i'm gonna speed up doing this side and when i'm done i'm going to um show you the hairbrush i'm gonna use for the hair strands and other places where i'm gonna cover up ugly messes from removing the wig from the actual person who wore it So when you get into tight places, remember to always change the size of your smudging brush because that's how you struggle smudging if you don't do that. Because a lot of people tell me how it doesn't work for them and that's literally the main reason why because you're not changing the size of your smudging brush. It's either too big or it's too small. So please remember that. So in this spot, I smudged upwards because like I'm really trying to make sure I got all the little strands that you don't really want people to see. It's looking nicer. Now the next thing I'm going to do is, like I told you, gonna make a new layer for this just in case you make any mistakes if you're confident then you don't need to make a new layer but the hair set is this new hair set I use in all my videos like I told you in the beginning and I'm gonna be using the hair strands shade this brush is perfect it literally looks like it's part of the real hair like look at that and I also use it to shade in eyebrows when I draw it so we are going to be picking the colors and just creating hair strands at the ends better ones Alright, I think that's it. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fix the center part of the hair. So you can put these together. So that made a difference, definitely. And okay, so I'm just going to fix the this part of the hair. So we're going to make a new layer and you're going to pick the colour of your abby skin and the brush you're going to be using is an inking brush because it's small enough to get in the this tight space. Think of it like a concealer when you make when you do your own wig in real life. So you're going to put it in the middle like that and then you're going to smudge out the edges. So at the front, just a little bit. And there you go. So because this hair naturally has like 
a lot of highlights you can add your own like here and here but yeah you're basically done and this is your wig something else you could do merge that down um lower the opacity and you can to change up the style of this you can make it look like it's going behind her ear and look at that doesn't that look cute so i hope that you like this video and i really hope it's easy when you do it yourself this is really easy i'm telling you like all you're doing is smudging this out and then adding hair strands and just making sure that there isn't any like harsh lines showing like for example here from when you erase the background but yeah just make sure everything looks neat and looks like you did it yourself and just nicely presented if you're trying to sell it to people and stuff like that you want this to be nicely made and always remember to like add what i did like see how it looks so much better from the actual picture because i did show you a difference before when i did this side and then the other side so yeah make sure you keep practicing before you sell it to people also practice other styles as well like curly hair and stuff when i get better at that i will do a tutorial but for now i decided to do straight hair with different highlights like this one because someone might feel like they would struggle black hair is really simple to do there isn't much mo about black hair so that's why i chose this one and yeah i really hope that you didn't find this video difficult this was really easy for me to to do and show you guys and yeah if you're new to my channel please subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you in my next video